Hey kiddos, it's Riley, and welcome back to another age re video today. Today I wanted to talk to you about some advice I have for new age regressors in the community. First of all, I wanted to say welcome. Overall, this community is a wonderful place to be. Of course, you just have to be sure to avoid discourse and not engage in the high school behavior that some people will try to drag you into. But avoiding that, it's incredible here. I am so glad you have found a good and safe coping mechanism to use. In this video, I wanted to share a few bits and pieces of advice I have learned through being in the regression community for many a year. My very first piece of advice is to block any and all discourse that you see. While the Adria community overall is very positive, there are some folks and accounts that like to try and bring drama and discourse into the community, and that unfortunately is the case with pretty much any online community you get into. Engaging in this drama and discourse is draining and ultimately unhealthy for you, so your best bet is to do your best to ignore it, and if you can't ignore it, block it, report it, get it off your feed. Make sure you're not seeing it. If that means that you have to unfollow or soft block a mutual, unfortunately it's probably the best bet to do that. Plus engaging in that kind of discourse and drama can bring a bad image to the community when that's really not something age regressors need on top of the stigma that we already get. My second piece of advice is to have a DNI or do not interact and a private account. And to also be sure to regularly check other people's DNIs. A DNI stands for do not interact and basically is a set of guidelines on someone's account letting you know when you go to follow them who they are comfortable and okay with letting interact with their account. This is a way for people coming to your account to see who you are comfortable and uncomfortable interacting with. It makes it easier to monitor your followers and keep your space safe, as well as help keep other people's spaces safe. Because if you are on somebody else's DNI and you notice that, you know not to follow them or not interact with them. And it's not necessarily a rude thing that you're on their DNI. DNIs are there for comfort reasons most of the time. For example, on my regression Instagram, my DNI has discourse, NSFW, and kink on it because I don't want those things in my regression space on Instagram, and that's okay. And that way, when people come to my account, they see that I don't want those people or those kinds of accounts following me. So having a DNI is a good idea, and it's also incredibly important, even more important, to respect other people's DNIs. Tip three is don't be afraid to reach out. Follow those whose content you love and whose DNI you follow, as well as tags of content you love. Most folks are okay with DMs as long as you don't start it out with, hi, can we be friends? Because that tends to make a lot of people uncomfortable, but I've noticed if you start a message asking a question or complimenting somebody's content, trying to start a genuine conversation, most people will be okay with that unless they have something on a highlight on their account stating other DM rules or guidelines for them specifically. DMs are usually okay. Just don't barge in, be like, hi, I love you, can we be friends? Because that's a little awkward. Starting a normal conversation is the best way to make friends and mutual. Tip number four is to use what you have. You don't need any specific Adri items. A printed coloring page or a blank page you can doodle on and a chewy necklace are just as good as a coloring book and a pacifier, and you should absolutely not let anyone else tell you otherwise. The number of regression items you have or lack thereof does not dictate your validity in this community, and a lot of us starting out in this community didn't have anything at all. It takes time to build collections like that, and especially a lot of the collections you see with people who have been in this community for years, it's taken a long, long time to build those up. 
So don't feel bad being someone new to the regression community if you don't have anything or if you only have one or two things. It's okay. And my final tip, tip number five, is to ignore the pressure. Sometimes the pressure that seems to come from this community and that people put on other people in this community is ridiculous. The pressure to look perfect, the pressure to have aesthetic content that is pleasing to the eye and completely unrealistic from actual genuine regression. Your age regression does not have to look like anyone else's. It does not have to look like what the average person is posting on Instagram. It's important to remember that while people do take aesthetic age regression photos because they enjoy that, age regression itself is not an aesthetic. It's a coping mechanism. It's a way to relieve stress. It's a way to have fun. It's not itself an aesthetic and it shouldn't be treated as one. So don't worry when your photos are not like particularly perfect and colorful and put together or you don't look exactly how you want in your Adri selfie. You're regressed, that's okay. But most importantly, in this community, you need to stay safe. Use your common sense, use your general online safety rules. You guys are smart and I know that. I hope this video was helpful to some of you that are new to the age regression community and I hope you enjoy your stay here. We are really glad to have you. If you like this video and want to see more content all about age regression from me, you can subscribe to this channel. I try to post a few videos over here a week, but if you want to keep up with me at day to day in between uploads, you can follow me over on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. I have a link to my Ko-Fi, my wish list, my merch, all down below. All of that really goes to help out supporting me and my channel, but you can also let the ads play throughout my videos, which super helps out as well. I love you guys so very much, and and I will see you soon. Goodbye.